It is an anniversary people in the Wisconsin Dells would rather forget. Four years ago, massive storms hit the area. A dam was breached, washing away big houses and causing Lake Delton to completely drain. The area is now back to normal, and officials say they're ready for another great summer. And today, it is just gorgeous outside. So will the wonderful weekend weather continue? Michael Fish is here now with a check of the forecast. Yes, Shelly, for at least one more day. What's odd is now we need the rain. But yeah, four years ago, boy, was that nasty. Some parts of the area over 12 inches of rain. That's a foot from June 1st through June 15th. Of course, Lake Elton, you just saw the uh, video of that draining out. Only four out of those 15 days were dry. That was just a horrible stretch of weather. It just kept raining and raining with big storms. And now we just kind of need rain. Look at the lawn here in Port Washington getting kind of brown. Seriously, we have been dry only an inch of rain. That's it over the last month at least. It's 86 there, though. At times right along Lake Michigan, it's starting to cool down. Our observer, Ken and Racine, said it cooled down to 81 for him. Now, tomorrow we're going to heat things up. And then as the day goes on, we're going to cool it down by the lake. If you want some relief, I'll tell you about that in a bit. 73 should be the average high. No, we didn't set any records today. There's Milwaukee checking in with 90, made it to 91 today in Watertown. Same with Sheboygan. And look at all, lots of 90s around the area. I think a lot of us should make it to around 90 tomorrow before cooling down by the lake. But right now, it is 88, at least at the airport in Milwaukee. Sheboygan checking in with 89, though. Oh, there we go. See, Racine has cooled down to 82. Our observer, Ken, of course, checking in with 81. So tomorrow, our wind is going to be going this direction. So if you live right here, that's where it's going to be a little bit cooler, but lots of heat as you head inland. Here's a strange thing. The heat index is actually lower than our temperature outside because, well, the dew points are real low. So we have dry air and we have that breeze. So it feels like 81 in Racine, 85 in Milwaukee. Either way, it feels like summer out there, but just not a real humid day. Dew points around 50 in Milwaukee, lower 50s out to our west. No, like mid 60s and 70s. That would be that real sticky air. So even tomorrow with temperatures close to 90, it's not going to feel like the dead of summer out there because it's not going to be that humid. Now here comes that chance of rain mainly on Monday afternoon, but before that front gets here, it's just going to be another hot one tomorrow. Again, if you want a little relief, go right along Lake Michigan, especially in the afternoon. It should be cooling down there. Sunday night looking quiet for us. Here we go as we head uh, through Monday. There comes that front, and that's going to be our chance of scattered showers and storms. Unfortunately, it's a cool front, so it just doesn't bring us a lot of rain. 65 tonight, mostly clear. That's mild. 90 tomorrow, but it's going to be cooling down as we head along the uh, lakefront. As the day goes on tomorrow night, still looking dry in 67 and Monday. Chance of scattered storms in 84 degrees. Next seven days, remember, we kind of need that rain. But look at Tuesday going all the way through Saturday. Oh, sure, that's a lot more comfortable, but oh, sure, that's pretty dry. So, Shelly, hmm. even if we see rain on Monday afternoon, I don't think it's enough. <laughs> Enjoy your 90 tomorrow. That's exactly. All I'd say. Enjoy it's it. so nice. We'll take it. Yep. Turn the sprinklers on, I guess. I guess. All right, here's a look at.